guys, it's Vlad back again with another review of this cool headset. It's an EXA E900 Pro version and in its Pro version it brings us the 7.1 surround sound and several other connection options as well as a lightning on the side. But first let's see what's in the box. They come in this nice carrying bag in the same colors as the headset itself. And it's now the already standard gaming color, the red and black combination. As you can see, the headphones are open back design, which should be helpful with achieving richer bass. But we shall see about that later. We also have a bunch of cables here, as the headphones support USB Type-C connection, as well as the standard 3.5mm connection, which makes them a perfect candidate to be used with PS4 or Xbox One. There is a Y splitter cable, which separates microphone and headphone jacks, and of course the microphone itself. Headband is comfortable to wear and won't put much strain on your head. In fact, I have worn them for a few hours straight and I haven't felt any strain from that. It can be adjusted a few notches, so it will fit most of the head sizes, unless you have a watermelon size head, but then I advise you to get something bigger. Jokes aside, ear pads are also well made, but they can make you sweat a bit as the material is not real leather. But what's most important is that they are comfortable to your ears. Noise cancelling is also great as you will not hear anything from outside at all. All controls and cable inputs are located on the left ear cup, the volume wheel, Type-C USB port and 3.5mm jack as well, which even has a locking mechanism. Microphone input as well as microphone mute button. You can't use both cables at once, you must choose either USB or 3.5mm jack. Bear in mind that if you use a 3.5mm jack, you will not have 7.1 virtual surround and no lightning on the sides. So if you are connecting them to a smartphone, PS4 or Xbox One, you need to use the 3.5mm jack, otherwise I am suggesting that you use a USB connection for PC because soundstage is much better and you will get all the effects available then. Using 3.5mm jack, sound in games is somewhat average, if you don't have an EQ setting available to correct it, so PS4 and Xbox users might be disappointed. And for music, it is dull and lacks treble, bass is muddy also, but this is not that important for gaming headset, as they are intended for gaming and not music, but I thought it was worth mentioning. But on the other hand, this is why I'm suggesting you use a USB connection for the sound, as that way you will have much better sound stage. 50mm drivers at 16 ohms are used to deliver quite good sound for the price that they are selling for, and that price is around 40 US dollars. Now, regarding the mentioned better sounding using USB connection, it comes with a software of its own which has all available settings needed to make them sound great. Bass is much better and clearer, middle sounds are distinguishable and higher sounds have no distortion. Using 7.1 virtual surround might not be a thing for some of you, but it can help spot enemies from all sides in games. So use it according to your personal preference. All in all, for this price they sound amazing and with a bit of EQ adjustments they can be a great all-rounder headset. Regarding the included microphone, it's rated at 43 decibels and it has noise cancellation and here is a test how it sounds at some 50% volume level. And so this is how their own internal microphone sounds, I am now using the voice from this microphone, because we are using the USB connection, they now have this illuminate logo on each ear cup. I don't know, you be the judge how this sounds, to me it sounds normally, people in games can hear you normal if you talk normal and don't yell so for the price of 40 us dollars this is a great budget option for any gamer out there so the only negative thing i have to say about these headphones is the location of volume wheel it's behind the left ear cup and it's for me it's hard to reach i prefer the inline thing you know the one you get directly on the cable also the mute button this one is located here i cannot find it now even if you need to press it quickly in games you can't so mm, it's right behind the volume wheel so click mute you now hear the sound coming from my camera now you hear it again from the headphones but i prefer the thing on the cable so that would be all for today guys make sure to comment like share this video and subscribe if you like the content i'll be seeing you in the next one peace